Now, from 41 NBC Sports, it's time for Friday Night Football Scores and Highlights. You're in the end zone with Bill Shanks, Tucker Sargent, and Montez Allen. Thank you and good evening. Welcome to the end zone. I'm Bill Shanks from Sports Radio 931 WXKO, the superstations.com. The regular season is winding down. Most teams will be done next Friday, so just about every game is important right now. Later on, Tucker Sargent will have a huge region game at Henderson Stadium. Let's start, however, in Warner Robins with Northside and Houston County. Both teams 0-2 in Region 1 in 6A coming into this one, with both losing to Lee County and Valdosta. And both of these teams will make the playoffs since it's a four-team region. But the winner tonight would be a three-seed in the postseason bracket. Houston County beat Northside last year by five points. Here we go to Freedom Field for the highlights of this game. Perfect night for football. Holy crap. It was unbelievable tonight. And here come the Eagles. Bears the ball, though, deep in their territory. And this was after both offenses were struggling. And here's a fumble that Jalen Allen recovers for Northside. Yep, it's Eagles ball. They've got it. Big play there. Handoff to number 11. His name in the program, no name Jones, but he's got it for six points. Touchdown Eagles. They missed the PAT six zip. Now Christian Lawhorn, the quarterback for the Bears, back to pass. It's complete to Mari Fullwood for a short gain. From the Eagles 30 now, Lawhorn drops back and heaves it. Well, that's not a good decision. It's going to be picked off by Tyron Blackman. So Northside gets it back. Eagles will then go to work. But watch this. Michael Sherman. Look at this. Uh, no, I don't think so. How about an interception and six points? How about there? Bears fans were happy with that. Kickoff now. You got to watch this. Caught by number five. His name is Justice Lake. I could sing for a while. Would you like me to? Okay, I won't. Don't worry. Because we just got to watch this kid run. Like, run. 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. He's going to go. Get out of our way. Touchdown, Eagles. What a run. That made it 13 to 6. Eagles going into halftime. Now, third quarter, Eagles from Houston County's 37. The quarterback is going to heave it. Watch this. Touchdown number 13 in the end zone. That made it 19 to 6. Eagles out on top. Bears ball now. Lawhorn to Fullwood. Complete, and he gets into Northside territory. Nice play there. Then handoff coming. Simeon Askew. He's going to leap over the defender, and it's slunk down around the 30 yard line. Pitch out now coming on this next play. Watch the quarterback pitch it. Corey Chason. Watch him rumble down to the five yard line where he's popped there around the three and then ask you would run it in for six points touchdown bears right there to make it 19 13. bears got it back and they're knocking on the door now run by tyler williams watch this inside the five and then house and county would have to go for the field goal luke rigby would get it and it's up and good that made it 19 to 16 north side of the eagles would hang on though and win it 26 23 that's their first win in the region. They're four and six now overall. All right, to Thompson Stadium, Northeast hosted Monticello in Region 3 in AA. Raiders getting ready, and here we go, first quarter. There's a fumble, bad snap. Mac Barton fumbles it. Raiders get it back. Alfredo Torres recovers. Raiders now in the Hurricanes. 30-yard line, the quarterback, Fabian Solomon. Heaves it. A lot of heaving going on. How about a touchdown? Brandon Watkins is all alone. How about that? Six points. PAT made it seven points. Second quarter now. Solomon back deep in his own territory. The pass. Justin Quinton. And he's going to run down the sideline. And he's going to get down to the 41 yard line for a first down. A few plays later on the same drive. Raiders on the Hurricanes. 43. Solomon. He heaves it again. And it's Zion Odom's complete touchdown. 14 0 Northeast. Raiders get it back. Solomon again scrambles. Now he's going to flip the ball to Kalik Evans, and he's going to take off. Watch this run. I mean, take off like, like he's going to run to Sherling Drive. Yeah, he's going to go for a long way. Uh, touchdown Raiders. What a run right there. 21 nothing after the PAT comeback. Monticello did zip on offense. The Raiders wanted more points before halftime. They get it. Raiders on the 40. Solomon runs, then passes. Brandon Watkins, and watch this. He gets a block coming up right here. Woo, rear blocker. Watkins knocked down inside the 10 yard line. How about that? Flags down, they back him up, but Solomon is going to keep it. And he's going to take off, and he's going to get it himself. He's going to run all the way to the track. Touchdown there, 
28-0 the score. 42-6 the final. Northeast wins it and improves to 6-2 on the season. 4-1 in the region. Let's go to Ed DeFore, the sports complex. Perry at Howard in Region 4 in Quad A. Huskies warming up. And, man, that field is awesome. Looks better than the one at Mercedes-Benz. It looks really good. Huskies on their own 40. Dawson Skinner drops back and hits Santonio Franklin, who darts to midfield for a nice game into Perry territory. Now from the 40, Skinner again. Shotgun, looking, scrambling. Now he's got to run back to his right, and he's going to avoid some tacklers and avoids the Perry defense against to the 30. Yes, it's a first down. A few plays later from the Perry 11. Skinner, quick pass to Franklin, and he dives to the five yard line. Next play, Skinner. Watch this. This could be Georgia's quarterback. <laughs> That's a pretty pass right there. Duran Wilder with the catch, touchdown Huskies. PAT for Howard would be up and good. And it's 7-0 Howard out on top in the first quarter. Second quarter now, Perry the ball after doing nada in the first period. Handoff coming to Malik Kendrick. And watch this run. He's running all over people, all the way to the 38-yard line. A few plays later, Lane Rucker now, watch this, looks to pass, but then sees a lot of land and decides to explore it. Oh, what a clever comment that is. All the way to the 22-yard line right there. Now the Panthers all the way to the Howard two-yard line. Daquan Wright, direct snap, touchdown Perry. And they would get the PAT kick is up for Caden Camp. It's going to be up and good. And Perry would tie the game at seven. Perry again with the ball now, Rucker from the Howard 24, handoff to Kendrick. He gets inside the 20, around the 13-yard line. Now Rucker, again, shotgun, waiting patiently, finds his man, middle of the field, right again, touchdown again for right. PAT would be good. Perry led 14 to nothing, seven rather, and they win it 21-14. Perry remains undefeated in Region 4 and Quad A, and they'll host Baldwin in a huge game next week. The biggest game for Central High School in years was tonight, and Tucker Sargent will have the highlights when we come back right after this. More highlights coming up on the end zone. Tonight's catered meal for the end zone crew provided by Zaxby's. Indescribably good chicken. Indescribably great support of our community.